I never knew. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nevin. Nice to meet you. I am really excited to see what it's like working in Korea just because I have aspirations to move there and work there so I want to use this opportunity as my chance to see do I really like it and do I really want to do this is this something I'm genuinely interested in or is it just a pipe dream type of thing um, currently no um, this will be my first international trip and my first trip off the island since I was born um, for me personally I'm excited honestly just to work in Asia I think that's a big thing um, I've tried to propose some projects, so hopefully that goes through. And um, yeah, just hanging out with other interns. I mean, I gotta like decompress after working. <laughs> it sounds like they're gonna we're gonna be working pretty hard, so it'll be fun to just like experience new things with the other interns. Yeah. I hear the watch party is gonna be fun. I don't even watch league, but just being in that environment of doing a watch party is always super fun. And it, like that's for esports related, and it's just like for fun things, I think. The shop in there is going to be pretty fun, super cheap. Yeah, I'm just excited to experience the like, lifestyle. Um, I've experienced it in Japan, but not necessarily in Korea. Um, I'm a little bit nervous for, I guess, like the professional side of things, because I know, at least in Japan, like there's like proper ways that you're supposed to speak and like formal Japanese as well. Um, yeah, I'm definitely playing the American card. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, excited for food and drinking. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but... Uh, the food I'm really looking forward to is hotok and the uh, live squid. That I've been looking forward to that for around a year, and I'm really excited to try that. Yeah, the alive one that... One that hopefully won't crawl up my throat and kill me, so I suffocate. That would be quirky. Um, out of the three groups, there was education, marketing, and business. I chose the education side because uh, my work currently here at UH, I work closely not only in the education sector, but I work mostly with children and high schoolers working for UH. I feel like that most closely aligned to what I wanted to do in the future. And I just enjoy working with people that are younger than me because not only can I impart knowledge, but I feel like I can learn from them as well. So when I went to Genji, I picked the uh, business and marketing. And uh, that was... That was more. Yeah, that one was more like combined at the end because we didn't have enough people to fill like two separate divisions. So I ended up doing like a double workload because of that. But like, I think that the amount of work and the kinds of work you're going to be doing is varied enough that you could probably like get by on picking any of the courses and still end up doing like a lot. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I ended up choosing marketing. Uh, I think that kind of aligns with what I want to do in the future. Um, and just knowing how the program went last year and the opportunities you guys had, I thought that fit pretty perfectly with yeah, just what I want to do and what I want to see in the Korean workplace. Yeah. I think if I don't get marketing, I'd be really interested in business, um, learning just more about the business aspects and how that plays into it. I guess just running an esports program in general. I'm really interested to see business insights and what they plan on doing. Honestly, I'd be game to do like all three. <laughs> yeah. um, but I was focused on the marketing side, but I was a business major, so that side interests me. So, I mean, that's why I kind of wanted to do a UI UX project because it really does combine all three. It's an educational program, GGA. Um, Marketing is like it has to be front facing to the users, and then business side, you just gotta make sure the product works well. Yeah, I think that's the important part about this mm -hmm. internship is like the way you said it, like a Swiss Army knife type of thing, where it's like you can apply a lot of different aspects that we're getting in this internship into anything you want to do. Yeah, it, it's a little bit of guidance, which I think is really cool. No, definitely. Um, there's a lot of different skills that you can pick up, even if you don't want yeah. to like get into esports. Those skills are still transferable outside of esports. So, you know, I think it works either way. Yeah, for sure. Just don't say no to stuff. Yeah. Honestly, just just go in with an open mind and kind of mm. be down to to do whatever's that like everybody else is up to do. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Oh, I hope I can play TFT on zero ping. I'm going to hit challenger in Korea, and that is my goal. I do have a extra week at the back half of my trip, so I'm hoping to get in some gaming, some shopping, some a lot of eating food and getting fat. But you know, I'm excited.
Yippee.